dumbass criminals to talk about, baby. It's the whack out news. People breaking the law. Ha ha, fighting in the nude. Ha, drunk people pooping in the street. Ha ha, it's the whacked out news. Cook so many people on meth. Ow! A 35-year-old Chelsea White of Fort Pierce, she's kind of got a thing. I call it a thing because she's done this multiple times now. She just got arrested again for beating on her boyfriend when he confronted her for stealing his sex toy. His sex toy. Huh? She apparently threw a glass sexual toy at her boyfriend and then left the couple's home. I guess that could be considered a weapon. Never understood why people got into the glass game when it comes to that stuff. I don't understand that either. I, it's, I, yeah. I just, I, I don't know. Yeah. Glass feels like it could break and do a lot of damage. I mean, well, they make like it that. durable, so yeah. that's not supposed yeah. to happen, but I just, I don't know. I just feel like, like they wouldn't trust it. Yeah, I just don't feel like that. Is that really the best that yeah. you can get? Right. Well, she got arrested two years ago for the exact same thing with the exact same guy. Now, I don't know if it included the exact same adult toy or hopefully they're replenishing them, but she's been ordered to complete a batterer's intervention program because that's what she does. Does she have to stand up and tell her story? <laughs> yeah. I'm Chelsea Wise. I like Chuck and Dildo's my boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's for truth. Yeah. Marlena Mikshensky Shibashi is a 38 year old piano teacher in England. And her boyfriend was unwise for turning down her sexual advances because when he fell asleep, she poured bleach on his face and then tried to cut off his dong. Oh my gosh. What did he do? <laughs> Is it just because her. he fell asleep and didn't want a bone? Yeah, that was it. <laughs> she's 12 years younger. He's 50. She's 38. Oh, she, she needs to find a new man. Yeah. He just he was all tuckered what out. Anyway, she needs to find he needs to find a new woman. Are you serious? <laughs> well, <You're, laughs> she wanted to get frisky. She tries to sever his junk and she needs to find a new man. He couldn't make it happen. <laughs> you're, you're arguing with a witch. You're not going to win. <laughs> what? That's not where I saw that one going. Oh, she needs to move on. Yeah. Okay. You think? <laughs> what a pig he is. Yeah. Right. Yeah. She needs to find a better guy. What? <laughs> An eight-year-old girl took her family's SUV from her Ohio home and drove to a Target store 13 miles away. Eight? Yep, she's eight. Apparently, she wanted a Frappuccino. Wow. And she wanted to browse the aisles of Target. She was found shopping inside the store by authorities. We're trying to figure out exactly how this all happened. I mean, that is an independent child. Yeah, she did mention, I might have hit a mailbox on my way here. So they're looking into that. <laughs> I might have. We hope it was just a mailbox. Oh, my gosh. 27-year-old Nebraska man Zachary Scheich was sentenced to up to 120 years in prison for pretending to be 17 in order to enroll in high school. Trying to pretend like he was 10 years younger than what he really was. Wow. He apparently used this cover to meet underage girls. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. He's only five foot four, so I guess people believed it. He's a short king. Yeah, he is. A short king. <laughs> to do this, he got a fake birth certificate and an academic transcript. Wow. So he went for it. Yeah. He was really layered in his pedophilia. 120 years in prison, eligible for parole, and 40. Dang. Book him. Wow. 68-year-old woman is suing American Airlines over claims that her genitalia was badly burned when a scalding pot of hot coffee fell off of a serving cart and right into her lap during turbulence. Oh, no. Let me just tell you. Have you ever eaten soup naked and spilled it on your private parts? Because nope. if you do, don't. Okay. Bad idea, huh? It's not the best. I mean, yeah. when you're doing that, though, it's your fault. This wasn't her fault. Yeah. If the hot coffee's on the cart and it's not, like, locked down, right. ooh, there needs to be changes to the cart. Mm-hmm. 62-year-old John Kastner is facing DUI charges for operating an excavator at a scrapyard in Benel, Florida, while under the influence. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? An excavator. Yep. Do me a favor, turn around. Can I go shut turn the around. machine off? Nope. You're going to stay right here. Keep your hands together like you're praying, okay? Well, what are you 
Hey. Just like that, all right, John? What are you charging me with? So you were in direct immediate control of a vehicle when we pulled up here. You looked like you were falling asleep. Based off of our observations, everything like that, you're being placed under arrest for DUI today, okay? Steve. We'll explain hey. it to Steve. They tagged me to jail. Oh, boy. <laughs> He doesn't be. even sound buzzed. He sounds <laughs> dream mean, wrong. Wow. He sounds clinically dead uh, from wow. alcohol. Whoa. How about that, huh? And I like how surprised he is that they're taking him away. What? What? What do you mean? They're Dave. taking me away. They're taking wow. me, Dave. I can't believe it. Dave's probably drunk, too. Yikes. Yeah, <laughs> Dave probably. <definitely> is drunk. <laughs> Well, could you imagine getting a traffic ticket? Now, this guy was going pretty quick. He was doing 90 and a 55. But, I mean, to get a traffic ticket that costs $1.4 million seems excessive. Whoa. Yeah, don't speed in Savannah. Connor Cato is the guy, and he said, wait a minute. You know, I, I know that was pretty fast, but that seems excessive. Thankfully, uh, <laughs> it was... Um, an issue with an auto-generated placeholder, and the fine is actually just a thousand dollars. Okay, okay, still steep, but it's not one point four million. <laughs>